Hello from the port of Harwich in England. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick. So just arrived here in Harwich, which is right in the east of Essex. I'm about two hours and 10 minutes ahead of time for tonight's trip, but they're already checking everybody in and it's super busy. This evening's ferry is with Stena Line from here in Harwich over to the Hook of Holland or Hook von Holland. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Sorry to my Dutch friends. It's going to depart from here at Harwich at 11 p.m. tonight. It's currently about 9.45 and it should arrive into Holland tomorrow morning around 8 a.m. This will be the biggest ship that I've been on with Stena Line. This is the Stena Britannica. So I think it's gonna have many more services that are usually in place on the Stena Line service between Northern Ireland and Scotland. Looking forward to getting on board. Welcome aboard the Stena Britannica and to a single inside cabin. Now, I have to be honest, although this looks probably a little small, I thought it would be even smaller. So I'm pretty impressed. This cabin tour won't take a long time. I wanted to show you something different because I usually get an outside cabin for four that's made up for one. And this is quite a different prospect. Let's talk about price up front. This trip from Harwich in the east of England over to the Hook of Holland, which is an overnight or you can do it as an all day ferry, takes nine hours and cost, including the single inside cabin, was £163. I have to say that's pretty good value compared to some of the prices I was getting to travel from Ireland to France directly. So there are two beds in here in bunk style. They're both made up. I'll just use the lower one. For a moment there, I was super scared that there might be somebody else sharing but I hope there isn't. The duvet seems perfectly functional. The pillows are maybe a little soft. Over on this side is a little sofa or rest area. As you can see, I happen to have worn a matching color. That was accidental. To get up onto the top bunk, there's a little ladder. The fact that hasn't been put in place gives me hope that this is actually just for me. There's a little TV. I don't know yet what stations there are. I'm guessing not many. Oh, hello. I don't speak Dutch at all. Thank you, Phil. Come on board, everyone. I'm interested to see that there is actually climate control here, which is pretty good. In this kind of, is it a desk area? I'm not sure. There are two European style sockets and a British style one for your charging. What are those little bins with a donut lid? One thing worth taking account of is the fact that there is duty free on board this ship. Some of these are probably not a bad price, particularly if you're traveling onwards to Norway, like I am. Let's take a quick look around the bathroom. If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll have seen worse. The smell in here is not appetizing. There's a couple of towel reels here. The actual towels are on the bed. This sink arrangement looks actually quite nice. The wood effect really does work. There's water with good pressure. A colorful shower reel. 
It's the kind that clings, I'm afraid. Oh, that shower head looks pretty good and it's quite high. And they've provided some shower gel, which is great for the morning. Okay, there's a nice blue tile and some very bright green Jordans that I'm wearing. You've got to have a little bit of colour in your life. Well, that pretty much looks like it. The corridor didn't appear to be particularly busy. All of the cars are, are already on board. I want to do a couple of things. It's 10 o'clock and we're due to leave at 11. I want to check out the services that are available, pop out on deck, and then, to be honest, as soon as we're underway, I'm going to go to my laba, which in Irish is my bed. All right, let's see what's up on deck. I've come out onto what's optimistically known as the sun deck, but really is where people come to smoke. But it's because you get this fantastic view of the Stenoline logo here on the stack. And because we're not fully loaded, they're still getting some of the lorries on board and lined up for our trip across to Holland. All of a sudden it's gone quite dark. And even though we're traveling in June, 2022, it is quite cold. You need a warm jacket. Okay, then you're on. <laughs> I did think that duty free was closed because all the doors are closed. But in fact, they're operating on a click and collect basis. You pop up to the desk, you ask for what you want, and they put it in a bag and you can collect it in the morning. That's a handy service. In case you're wondering what I bought in duty free, I got two things. They had a special offer on a new Bombay Sapphire gin called Bramble. And I also got a bottle of Aperol so that I can make Aperol spritz in the summer. Hopefully that was good thinking. Leaving in for a good 10 minutes time. We're just securing the vessel for sea. Uh, the weather for tonight's crossing is light wind, so it'll be nice and smooth. And we'll arrive on time in the morning. I would now ask you to listen carefully to the full important safety message. Well, I'm not lingering tonight. I'm getting straight into bed. The woman who's running guest services said to me that the first wake up call's at 5.30. It's already 11 o'clock. Time for sleep. Happy Kushnoozling. It's 5.30 a.m. You've just had first alarm and then there'll be second alarm at 6 a.m. And you have to go and collect your duty free at that point. Then they start disembarkation. God, it's early. Okay, I better go and collect my duty free. I did manage to get my duty free. It's pretty straightforward. You just pop up to the guest services desk and they can provide it to you after 6 a.m. I popped outside, it's nice and fresh, and we can just about see Holland. Everybody's back on the car deck now. I'm right at the very back. I have only one person behind me. So I'm going to be one of the last people off, but I paid for an economy ticket. Reminder that was £163 all in, including the cabin. I probably can't check in before 12 to my campsite, which is a three hour drive away. So 
I'm not in any rush today. This was a very smooth sailing. The one thing that I could deal with would have been two or three more hours sleep. <laughs> it looks like things are opening up. Let's get on the road to Groningen. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Hey, how are you today? Super. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. Bye bye. At least to stay alive. And the time I'll be here makes it over five. Got this place. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Planet Patrick on board the Stena Britannica. If you've enjoyed today's vlog, why not subscribe? Click the bell for the notifications. If you do Instagram or TikTok, I'm at This Is Planet Patrick. Until the next one, take care. Bye bye.